12 days of beards miss day number three we are going to highlight a new company we're going to tell you yesterday's giveaway winner launch a new giveaway today and we're going to start off with a beard of history you guys probably know the deal by now if you could quickly do me a favor hit a thumbs up to show that you like this video you like this series and you're excited to learn a little bit today all right our beard of the day in history today is going to be hans langseth now, this one is a really cool one, particularly for this channel. You may have heard of him, you may have seen the picture, but I'm almost positive I'll bring some new information to you guys. So Hans is known as the King of Whiskers, as he should be. He is the Guinness Book of World Records record holder for the longest beard in the history of the world, coming in officially at over 17 and a half feet long. When he died, there are reports that it was even longer and over 18 feet, but at the time of certifying the world record, 17 and a half feet long. They used to play jump rope with his beard. He would sit on a chair on one side, somebody on the other side would hold it, and they would jump rope for little kids at this 17 and a half foot long beard. Now we're gonna go into this story and everything, but one thing you may ask yourself is like, how do you live? How do you function with a beard that is that long? Well, he would take a corn of cob, right? Or is it cob of corn? Either way, right? Brain gets going. He would take a piece of corn and what he would do is he would wrap his beard around it and he would put it into his pocket. <laughs> yes, around corn and put it into his pocket. Absolutely amazing. Well, let's get into a story. So Hans was born in the mid 1800s in Norway. He met his wife, Anne, and they decided to move to America in a very small town in Iowa, less than 300 people. And his beard journey began at age 19 when there was a local kind of like, uh, beard club in a group that was trying to promote some like financial like investment into the area. There was kind of a gold rush going on. So they held a beard growing competition. Hans enters the competition and then afterwards decides, hey, how about I just stop shaving and keeping this going? I kind of like it. Pretty cool. So he's growing his beard. His wife tragically passes away at the young age of 40, uh, just a few months after complications in birth of their last child. Well, even after that, Hans says, you know what? I'm going to make this kind of my thing. I'm going to continue to grow this beard out. And he did learn something pretty interesting that I will likely never get to, most of you will likely never get to, is that his beard completely changed at about five feet. Once it got to that five feet mark, then it became dead or unresponsive, right? A lot of us know that if you don't drink water, if you're not taking care of yourself, if you do these things, your beard's going to feel horrible. He said at about five feet, no matter what he did, his beard started to become like that always, permanently. And so what he did was instead of cutting it off at that point, which a five foot beard is absurdly large, he wanted to still go for it. So he started matting the hair together, almost like modern day dreadlocks. So when I talked about putting his hair around corn, you may be thinking like, what, that's crazy. It was really matted together, almost like a rope. And so that kind of makes a little bit more sense. So he continued to grow his beard. He gets his world record. Then afterwards, he joins a traveling circus freak show, their term, not mine. And he's going as the man with the largest beard in the history of the world. And he really enjoyed the fame. He actually became close with the bearded lady, All right, They called her the fat bearded lady. And she would wash his beard for him kind of an interesting connection there but he got sick of it because of so many people tugging on his beard and checking if it was real or not so he left he ended up living a really good life he passed away at the age of 80 or 81 i believe of natural causes and he had a request for his children that they cut off his beard in the casket and then they save it well they eventually passed this along to the smithsonian uh, museum which you guys can go visit and see today they've got like teeth and skulls and all these things of like famous people throughout history and his beard is there 17 and a half feet long for this guy who moved from Norway to America and just decided to keep growing it that's pretty amazing he did not come anywhere near terminal length and he has that persistence to keep it going so cool what a fun story for the king of whiskers okay Today, we are going to highlight the Bearded Mac. I'll put it up over here, you guys. Dan C is your discount code for 15% off this company. Always, that is an affiliate. When you use that link or code, you support the channel, you support that company, and you save yourself some money on a great, great company. 
What I'm going to highlight first is probably not a surprise to many of you, and that would be their solid beard wash bar. This is an actual obsession of mine. This is not a soap. This is like, think of beard wash, right? The liquid beard wash that comes in the big plastic containers. Think about removing all of the water out of it. It is like a dehydrated uh, beard wash and, and it is not a soap. It is not a soap. Um, so I wanna make sure we're super, super clear on that. Soap is harsh and stripping. Nothing wrong with it. If it's designed for a beard, you can use good soap up to once a week. With this, you can use it every single day. I use it on my head hair, I use it on my beard. I don't use it every day because I rotate through several different washes, but it's one of my key go-tos. It lathers up so nicely, makes my beard feel great. You can use conditioner after it, but you don't have to. It's so gentle that you don't have to follow up. Love this one, guys. Check out the company. I'm gonna have plenty more to say about them. Okay, so we're gonna go over the giveaway winner from yesterday, which is a Beard Octane $50 gift card, and then we're gonna announce what the giveaway is today and how you guys can enter. All right, Beard Octane $50 gift card is going to go to, boom, with the random entry generator. Congratulations, Beard Octane will send that to the email you signed up with. You don't have to do anything, easy peasy. Giveaway today is the same thing. We're gonna do a $50 gift card from the Bearded Mac. How do you enter? Be subscribed first and foremost. Comment down below on the history lesson or comment about this company, and then click the link that's in the description and the pinned comment for you to enter your name and your email address. That's it, guys. You don't have to share this. It would be amazing if you did. This could really help out this channel, the beard community, some of these beard companies, and people that would find the channel amazing, but it's not a requirement. You don't have to buy anything, no purchase necessary. We just want to say thank you. It's the time for giving, which should be always, but you know what I mean here. So I'm loving this, guys. We're just getting this bad boy rolling. One more company to feature on tomorrow's video, and then we come back through these guys again, each of them two more times to round it out for 12 days of beards mess. So thank you guys again for watching. My name is Dan C. Bearded. Stay bearded and stay positive.